morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I want us to read a verse from chapter uh, from Matthew. It's Matthew chapter 26 and it's verse 39. And this is what it says. It says, He went a little further and fell on his face and prayed. It always amazes me as I think about Jesus, the divine Son of God, that he prayed. How much more we need to pray. He who was the Son, the only begotten Son of the Father, prayed. And friends, we try very often not to pray. We can't go on without prayer. The little title I've given this morning is this, the one that always goes further. He went a little further. Isn't it wonderful, friends? The more we get to know Christ, we see as the one who always goes further. Always goes all the way. He went all the way to Calvary for you. And when we sleep, he is forever awake, looking after you and me. When we are asleep, he is the one that is always alert. He never slumber and he never sleeps. You see, we can learn so much as we look at our Saviour's prayer. In his hour of trial, we see it was a lonely prayer. He went alone, even from the closest of his disciples. How we need to recognize, the friends, the power and the need for a personal prayer life. For a personal, private prayer life. Especially when facing trials. That when we need to pray, even more earnestly, we can come to him who we know will answer. I will always remember, friends, when it's hardest to pray, to pray your hardest to pray with your family, to pray with the church is wonderful. It's, it really is. But to pray alone with God is where the greatest blessings come. You and Jesus. You and Jesus and Jesus and you. Yes, he prayed alone. But he not only prayed, prayed alone, he prayed humbly. Luke says this, he knelt. A another disciple says he fell on his face. What a great example, friends, he is to you and he is to me this day. If he prayed in this humble manner, how much more should you and I fall upon our knees before Christ, cry before our wonderful Saviour, humbly, knowing that we are not worthy, but he is willing to listen to our prayers. We should fall upon our knees in reverence before the Master of Heaven and of Earth. And if we want to prevail with God, friends, then we must humble ourselves so that he can exalt us in due time. It was also a prayer of love. Father, he says, and we are taught to pray by saying those very words, our Father, our Father. We have no rights in our own merit, but it's all through our wonderful, great God. And he will hear and he will answer our prayers because of the sacrifice of his Son. Yes, this prayer of Christ was a lonely prayer, a private prayer, a humble prayer, a prayer of love. But it was also, if you notice, a persevering prayer. We read three times that Jesus went alone to pray. And this must teach us, friends, to never give up, to always keep on and prevail in prayer. And if you keep on knocking, he will keep on answering. Finally, friends, it was a prayer of resignation. Nevertheless, he says, not my will, but thy will be done. Let our desire always be for his will, not for ours. And we can be sure that his way is always best. Be content to leave your prayer in his hands. Who knows when to forgive, how to forgive, what to forgive. And whatever it is that we withhold, he is able to see. And if we seek his face, he will put it right. And we can go on in the power of prayer. So why not go a little bit further in your prayer life? Just as we see our great example always went further and he fell on his face before our Heavenly Father. God help us to go further. God help us to go deeper. God help us to call upon the God of heaven and earth and see him answer our prayers. And may we all see great results as we call upon our precious and wonderful Saviour. God bless you, and I look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow morning.